एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome back to this video. The, this is the second part in which we are going to uh, learn how to solve a differential equation which is of first order but not of first degree and it is soluble for y. So welcome to this S Chand Academy. For more details you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing details of which is given on this side and link is given in the description box. So we will start with the solution technique for the equation which is soluble for y and which is of first order but not of first degree. So equation soluble for y. So when we say that it is soluble for y, so we consider that it is given in this form that is y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable and p is the derivative since it is a differential equation so it has to involve the derivative. So let us say that the given differential equation is in this form. Let us say that this is differential equation 1. So for to obtain the solution for this differential equation we will differentiate this one, differentiate this given differential equation with respect to x. So it is dy by dx is equals to and let us say that this is fx p and p dash it will involve. So uh, we will solve this differential equation and let us say that one of the solution is one of the solution is P and C and this is equal to 0. Let us consider that this is equals to 2. So we will eliminate this P from 1 and 2 and we will find out the solution. So that's how we will proceed. Suppose it is not possible to eliminate P then if it is not possible to eliminate to eliminate p then we will solve it for x and y separately and let us say that x equals to f1 p and c and y will be f2 p and c and that's how the solution will be written so we will see that when equation is soluble for p, this is the given form of the differential equation. We need to differentiate that with respect to x and we will find out one of the solution of the differential equation as we have already discussed that a solution uh, is not unique for one differential equation. If this is called as general solution because it involves the arbitrary constant. Therefore, let us say that one of the solution is fxpc and uh, if it is, uh, we will find, we will eliminate P between 1 and 2 and we will can find out the solution. The solution will be the relation between the dependent variable and the independent variable. And if it is not possible to eliminate this P then we will write down the solution in form of X and Y. So we will take one example for the same to make it more clear. So let us say that example is Y equals to PX plus A P. 1 minus p. Okay. Well, let us call it as 1. <coughs> so, we will differentiate this 1, differentiate 1 with respect to x. So, it becomes p is equals to p plus x p dash that is dp by dx plus this is a p so it becomes a d p by d x we will denote it by p dash minus 2 a p and p dash because this is p is dy by d x. So if we expand this thing if we if we simplify this thing this becomes x p dash plus a p dash 
minus 2ap p dash and this equals to 0. So if we take this p dash out, it becomes x plus a minus 2ap is equals to 0. So from this it can be written as that p dash is equals to 0 that is dp by dx is equals to 0 and the solution for which can be written as p is equals to constant. So one of the solution can be written by replacing p with c in this one in equation 1. Therefore 1 gives us that y is equal to cx plus a c 1 minus c where c is an arbitrary constant of integration which has been obtained from this uh, portion that is p is equal to c. So this is when we are able to eliminate p between this uh, uh, form of this one p with the given differential equation. Then we will take the second part of this. So if we take uh, out of this expression, we have taken only p dash is equal to 0. Now let us say that x plus a minus 2ap is equals to 0. So from this, it can be written as that p is equals to x plus a over 2a. So this expression of p can be substituted in the given differential equation to obtain the solution. So if we look at the differential equation, it is y equal to and this p, this p will be substituted here, here and here. So then we will get the another part of the solution. So the given differential equation is y equal to px plus a p 1 minus p. So if we substitute p equal to x plus a over 2a, so y is equal to x into x plus a over 2a plus a into x plus a over 2a and 1 minus x plus a over 2a. This can be simplified easily. They are simple expressions. So it becomes x into x plus a divided by 2a plus x plus a divided by a and this becomes a minus x over 2a. So this can be taken out. So x plus a by 2a can be taken out and we are left with x and plus a minus x over a. We can simplify it. There should not be any problem in that. It is x plus a over 2a and this is ax plus a minus x over a. Okay. So this can be simplified and this will be forming the solution. So it is x plus a by 2a and it is we can uh, it is up to us that we, whether we would like to keep it in this form or we would like to solve it further. So it is ax plus a minus x over a. So we have solved the another part of the solution for p and the form for p has been obtained as x plus a over 2a which has been substituted in the given differential equation to obtain the solution. So in this one we have uh, this, this solution we have obtained after eliminating p using this expression and this this one this portion we have this uh, form we have obtained by substituting the form of p as c so these this is the solution technique for differential equation of to solve a differential equation which is of first order but not of first degree so this is the form when with the equation is soluble for y now similarly we can solve the differential equation which is soluble for x so equation soluble for x. So when it is soluble for x, it is understood from the previous uh, uh, article that the equation should be written as this one, uh, like this, like this. So it, uh, x equals to f of y and p. And in this one, 
what we have done is that we have changed the dependent variable as y. So, in, in this one, x is the dependent variable. Dependent variable. And y is the independent variable. y is independent variable. So, let us say that this is 1. So, this differential equation 1 will be differentiated with respect to y and then the same uh, uh, procedure will be followed which we have followed for the equation which were soluble for y. So, we will take one example for such a uh, equation when it is soluble for x. So, let us take one example. So, it is let us say that dy by dx minus dx by dy is equal to x by y minus y by x. So, if this is the given differential equation, so we can see that if dx by dy has been written as uh, p, so this can be written as p minus 1 over p is equal to x upon y minus y over x. So, this can be written as p square minus p into x by y x square minus y square over x y and minus 1 is equals to 0. So, it has become a second order differential equation which uh, so uh, since we have not learned the techniques to solve the first order differential equation therefore, we will not go to the techniques uh, for uh, second order differential equation. Rather, we will factorize this and we will find out the solution for this by factorizing it into two number of uh, linear factors. So, instead of writing like this, we will we will keep it in this form itself y minus y by x minus 1 is equals to 0. So, that it becomes p square minus p x over y plus p y by x minus 1 is equal to 0. And from this we will find out the linear factor. So, it becomes x by y and then plus from this one we will take let us take the y by x out. So, that we are left with p minus x by y and this equals to 0. So, we can see that the given differential equation has been factorized into two factors that is p plus y by x and p minus x by y and this is equal to 0. So, we will keep them uh, separately equals to 0. So, p plus y by x is equal to 0 and p minus x by y is equal to 0. We have seen that it has been converted into a two first order differential equation which is of first degree as well. So, it is quite easy to solve them this differential equation. So, it is dy by dx plus y by x is equal to 0. So, which can be written as dy by y plus dx by x is equals to 0. Solution for this can be written as xy is equals to constant. So, this is one of the solution. So, second is we can uh, use this one. So, p minus, so it is dy by dx minus x by y is equals to 0. So, it can be written as y dy minus x dx is equals to 0. Upon integration, we will get y square minus x square is equal to c square. So, this is the solution for the from the second linear factor and which can be multiplied together to get the solution of the given differential equation. So, so that's how we have learned that to find out the solution for the equations of first order but not of first degree when it is soluble for x and y both. And in the first part we have learned the, to find out the solution for the equation which was soluble for p. So, now we are uh, competent enough to find out the solution when the given differential equation is of first order but of nth degree. When we have, when we say that this is of nth degree, then it can be found out that whether under which category it lies, that is if it is soluble for p or it is soluble for x or it is soluble for y. 
when it is soluble for x and y the solution technique is same only thing is we need to remember that which variable needs to be taken as independent variable and which variable needs to be taken as a dependent variable so i'm sure now you are competent enough and you have learned how to solve a differential equation of first order with nth degree for more details you can refer to the book from s chand publishing Descri uh, details of which is given here link is given in the description box please like share and subscribe the video and please press the bell icon to uh, get the notification as and when next video will be uploaded thank you very much All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.